how we ruined a wedding with Star Wars memorabilia. So one of my good friends married the worst person background the first time I met her, she came off as very arrogant. My friend invited the new girl he was dating to trivia night at the pub we regular at. She argued every answer the group agreed on. Normally, our group finishes trivia night in the top three, theirs was at the time seven of us, and our combined knowledge pretty much covered all categories. This night was special for us because we were on a four-week win streak, about to break the old one. The pub had a rule that you broke the streak you tab was covered for the whole night, and four was the streak for the last three years my friend and his new girlfriend missed the first two of the three rounds. We were in first place by only three points. How trivia worked at the bar was they had three round of 30 questions that were displayed on the TV for one minute. No cell phone rule, the staff monitored, if they saw a cell phone at the table, they grabbed your sheet and you were out for that round, even if it was off and just sitting at the table. They had really cool prizes every week anyhow, my friend and his girlfriend showed up for the last round. As I said, she argued every group decided answer, at the end of that round, we were confident we had every question right. Our mistake was my friend new girlfriend said she'd hand in the sheet. The host, at the end, hands our sheet back, says we'd have one if we didn't change our first answers. We were like, what? He hands the sheet back, and a bunch of our answers are crossed out and changed. Everyone at the table looks at my friend's girlfriend. She was like, I thought I was right, and you guys were wrong on most of the answers, so I changed them. The pub never recovered after COVID and shut down, so the streak was never beat year went by, and she only got worse anyways this is a petty revenge story, not my friend terrible wife story, so I'm going to fast forward to their wedding gifts she controlled everything on the wedding my friend had to argue that she couldn't choose his groomsmen, she literally told him he can pick his best man, but that his six groomsmen had to be her three brothers, two cousins, and a college friend of hers. The only time he stood up to her and said no, if I could choose my groomsmen wedding off. Anyhow, after that drama, and getting the message that I'm a groomsman. I get an email and a voice message from his fiance. All gift have to be off their wedding registry or a minimum of $300 in cash or gift cards of her selected stores. Most of them were for her dogs, like spas, groomers, or apparently dog hotels. Anyhow I'm a giant nerd and six months before the wedding I was at a comic book convention, my friend is a big Star Wars fan and Mark Hamill was there so my wedding gift was a Riddell helmet signed by Mark Hamill. I told the groomsmen what I bought, and it spread like wildfire. Apparently, my friend's side of the family didn't like her, and a lot of mutual friends hated the $300 minimum limit. I missed the gift opening because I was hungover, but I found out when I woke up that more than 50% of the gifts for the wedding were Star Wars memorabilia and collector's items. My friend's wife apparently had a mental breakdown unfortunately, they're still married, but my friend has a cool man cave in the basement full of Star Wars memorabilia.